I discovered I was angry at so many things when I was, I think, 10. A lot of things were coming into play. My family wasn't making sense. I never genuinely accepted myself when I was young because I think I was fat. Yeah, I, I thought I was fat, but everybody used to think I was okay, but in my heart, I thought I was fat. Um, I was exposed to violence and abuse when I was, I think, around that age because things were just not making sense in my family. So being angry at that age, um, children take it out on so many things. Um, they start thinking of suicide, they start thinking of running away from home, or just having a group of friends that will just accept you, you know. But music was one of the ways that I would take out my anger, even though I never took it very seriously. Uh, growing up, um, I would see my parents bicker a lot on a daily basis. And it's something that really affected me a lot um, growing up. Till today, it still does. But I found comfort in knowing that God is sovereign over both situations, over both the good and the bad. And knowing that God's love for each one of us is so magnificent and that each one of us is made so special and we're always enough in his sight. Backtracking, coming back, coming back, bringing back the story. Um, in high school, high school was a place that I felt I discovered myself more. But and then again, there was this violence and then there was this abuse um, back home. So it was so conflicting. I didn't know which side to fall on. So most of my friends genuinely think I'm a very happy person. But deep down, I think I'm very sad. But most people do not know. And I think this has helped me a lot to write genuine songs that um, really help so many people when it comes to abuse. And I think my voice now is being sharpened more because I find myself advocating for girls' rights, for women's rights, uh, women who have been abused by the people they claim they love the most because abuse is not far away. Abuse is in our homes. Um, abuse is with a neighbor. Abuse is just in the streets. It's everywhere. And many people do not talk about it. And it's something that I'm very uncomfortable talking about. But I feel with the various platforms that God has given me and the voice that God has given me, I'm able to speak more about it. So going in depth, um, I, would, I would not talk about this much with. Um, my friends, only my close friends, because most people think I'm very happy. Most people think I'm very bubbly and I'm very hospitable, which I also believe, but I feel I like my space. I like being alone. I like, I like being in my own shadow and being around people. I love being around people, but sometimes it gets overwhelming because I'm like, is this really me or the, the me that I believe is the sad me? And where I put God's love in all this is that sometimes it gets confusing because you get to question so many things. You get to question your background. You get to question um, uh, your, your, your own sanity sometimes. Coming to background, you get to question why God placed you in a certain place, why he placed you in a certain family, you know? Because when you see your friends around, especially children, you know, when you see your friends, when you... You go to school, they're talking about how happy their families are. They're talking about how amazing their lives are. Or their parents come to pick them up. Or they're just very happy. But when you look at yourself, you're like, oh my God, I'm going back to that house again. Where they're always shouting and where they're always talking. And you don't know your own outlet. You don't know who to tell because at a young age, you're just confused because you think, okay, maybe my, my friends will think I'm uncool. But with that and bottling that inside, you get to wonder where to, to take all that energy and all these things. So it gets, it gets so confusing. But right now, um, I'm at a place where I'm free to, to talk. I'm free to, to encourage. I'm free to just say this out loud because I know that even with my few interactions I've had with people, people are struggling. People are going through so much. People are going through problems. And you find that even as among Christians, we, we sometimes put on a face 
we sometimes pretend that things are okay in our own homes with our own families, but initially it's, it's, it's not the case. We, we struggle with who to tell, we struggle with who to run to. But it's, it's, it's been a fun experience talking about this. And I've seen that many people right now, even in my own circles, are now opening up and they're, they're being comfortable being them and they're accepting themselves for who they are. So it's a journey. I can't promise I'm okay fully. I can't say I've got everything figured out, but I've got a big God who is sovereign and who loves me so much and he loves you too. So with whatever, with whatever has been going on in your, your life, um, be it home, be it with school, be it with your family, always know that you're always enough for God, that's one, and for yourself and for that one person who always reminds you that you are at your best even when you are at your lowest. So that's me. I am Chatimu and that is my story. <laughs>